Welcome to ATCM, the Emergency Medicine Channel. Today we are discussing about cytokine storm. Whenever we have an infection or inflammation, whether the infection is due to bacteria, virus, fungus, whatever it is, there will be an acute inflammatory reaction against this foreign object. It is a regulated inflammation, but sometimes this inflammation will be dysregulated. That is called as cytokine storm. Sometimes it is called as macrophage activation syndrome. We will see what is cytokine. Cyto means cell, kinos means movement. Cytokines are large group of protein peptides or glycoproteins that are secreted by specific cells of immune system. Any type of cell can secrete the cytokines. They have fundamental role in communication within the immune system. So their main role is communication. So they will communicate there is a bacteria or virus which has come to our system. We have to attack it. So they mainly do the communication. If there is a problem in this communication, uh, then there will be a dysregulated immune response. This uh, communication in immune response and stimulate the movement of cells towards the site of inflammation in normal conditions, but in a, in, in a condition like viral infection or dengue fever or leptospira or SLE, it will be dysregulated. We can call it as cytokine storm or macrophage activation. So there are a large number of cytokines which is uh, there in our body. There are multiple identified cytokines or there are a lot of unidentified cytokines. So this picture will show different type of cytokines in our body like interleukins, KGFs, CTGFs, so many uh, cytokines are there in our body which all uh, stimulate the immune response in our body but in a normal regulated manner when it is dysregulated we call it a cytokine storm. The definition of cytokine storm is an inflammation caused by severe immune reaction in which body releases too many cytokines to the blood too quickly. So the reaction is too much and the cytokines are released very rapidly. A large amount of uh, these cytokines uh, can produce harm to the body. So they are harmful to our body because of dysregulated inflammation. This cytokine storm can mainly occur to an infection like a viral infection. It can be secondary to an infection like dengue fever, COVID infection, leptospirosis or an autoimmune disease like SLE, rheumatoid arthritis and other malignancies. Sometimes it may be related to immunotherapy also. In coronavirus 2019, researchers have observed a cytokine storm uh, syndrome in these patients. We have seen that around 30 lakh people around the world have got this disease and the mortality rate is very very high around 3 to 7 percent when you compare with an H1N1 it has a, it had got a mortality of 1.5 percent but here the mortality is slightly high. The major problem for this mortality is this uh, cytokine storm or hyperinflammation syndrome. So all these patients uh, death were due to uh, ARDS. Most of these patients had ARDS and secondary HLH or cytokine storm or macrophage activation syndrome. So there were ma two main issues. One is cytokine storm and ARDS. ARDS may be a part of this cytokine storm. What is the evidence for this cytokine storm? Uh, we will see one study done by Ruan Q. Yang. That is done in China. Around 150 patients uh, they have studied. They have demonstrated that there is an increase interleukin 2, interleukin 7, granulocyte colony stimulating factor, interferons, uh, monocyte chemoattractant protein. Like this, so many pro uh, things were elevated in these patients. But these things are not, uh, we are uh, not able to do all these te tests in our clinical practice. The most important test we can do in our clinical practice is elevated ferritin. So this study confirmed that elevated ferritin were observed in many patients and elevated interleukin 6. They all were associated with high mortality during this study period 
and it indicates an hyperinflammation hyper syndrome or cytokine storm. So many patients who had COVID-19 infection had a cytokine storm syndrome that is uh, indicated by lab investigations, investigations like elevated ferritin level and elevated interleukin-6. Now we'll see what is the diagnostic criteria of cytokine storm. You have eight uh, parameters. After this five are positive, you can diagnose cytokine storm. So patient should have fever, splenomegaly, peripheral blood cytopenia. There may be reduced cell numbers. Hypertriglyceridemia, that is triglyceride more than 265 milligram per deciliter and hypofibrinogenemia, fibrinogen level less than 150 milligram per deciliter. Then bone marrow shows hemophagocytosis in the bone marrow, spleen, lymph nodes, all these things may show hemophagocytosis. Low or absent natural killer cells, normal routine labs will not be, will not be possible to do this test. And one important test we can do in our clinical practices ferritin levels. You know that ferritin is an acute phase re reagent. Whenever there is an inflammation, it will be elevated. So according to this diagnostic criteria, they say ferritin level more than 500 nanogram per ml is a diagnostic criteria. But if you see the cases of macrophage activation syndrome or cytokine storm, mostly it will be more than thousands. It may be above 3000 nanogram per ml. Then CD25 is another investigation we can do in our uh, clinical practice. Elevated soluble 25 can be there in cytokine storm. So we should have 5 out of 8 criteria. In that normal clinical practice we can see fever can be there, splenomegaly can be there, peripheral cell cytopenia may be there, hypertriglyceridemia can be there, hypofibrinogenemia can be there and Bone marrow, some patients we can do, hemophagocytosis will be there. And ferritin level is very, very important. Ferritin more than 3000 in an acute inflammatory condition that may indicate HLH or cytokine storm syndrome. Now, there is a scoring system available for this cytokine storm, uh, this one, that is called as H-score. H-score more than 165 shows 93% sensitivity and 86% specificity for cytokine storm syndrome. So H score uh, calculators are available in Android mobiles. So you can use it H score more than 165. That is a diagnostic criteria. Now, if you see, we understood that cytokine storm is an hyperinflammation syndrome. So many uh, doctors think that we can use immunosuppression for these patients. So many patients who had cytokine storm uh, in previous infections like uh, uh, MERS or SARS, H1N1, corticosteroids, uh, they tried, uh, they had some good result, but it is not recommended in COVID-19 because the COVID-19, those who treated with corticosteroid had, had a prolonged recovery period. That's why corticosteroids are not uh, tried in uh, cytokine storm in COVID-19. Moreover, corticosteroids is a total immunomodulator. Uh, it, it reduces immunity in all aspects. It is not a specific immunomodulator. So corticosteroids are not recommended here, but previous viral infection, they have tried it and they, have, uh, they, they, they got uh, some results uh, because uh, due to corticosteroids. Another important drug which was under trial is toclizumab. That is a specific monoclonal antibody against interleukin-6. So that is very very important. It's a interleukin-6 monoclonal antibody. That means that only modulates the interleukin-6 mediated inflammation. The dose is 4.8 milligram per kg. That is a 400 milligram is recommended. It should be diluted in 0.9 uh, uh, sodium uh, chloride or normal saline and uh, it, 100 ml should be given as an infusion. Infusion time is 1 hour. Second dose may be recommended after 12 hours and you can give maximum 2 doses, maximum 800 milligram. One of the study done uh, for toclizumab that shows a favorable response for uh, 
covid 19 cytokine storm with this drug uh, the study is done by su excel han mf all these things are from china so this study shows some effectiveness for toxicimab there is a interleukin 6 uh, monoclonal antibody against this cytokine storm so there are multi central trials are going on now at present in china and italy and various other countries for toxicimab we have to f- wait for the full results of this study uh, in recent uh, guidelines has to come for these studies now another important treatment which was given for cytokine storm that is cytosorb therapy it is done through a dialysis machine there will be a filter which can filter the uh, cytokines and that may improve the clinical profile in this patient so this study also done, uh, it's going on in uh, various countries like italy and all so cytosorb is a cartridge which can filter the uh, cytokines uh, during this acute inflammation so uh, they think that patient may improve after removal of all this cytokines this dysregulated Im- immuno response can be controlled so we have discussed about cytokine storm and its importance in covid-19 infection the ways it can be treated so all treatments are under trial now we have to wait for the results thank you